Ambulances with patients infected by the coronavirus are arriving at a hotel in Tel Aviv that's been turned into a makeshift quarantine facility. The number of new infections is increasing every day. To fight COVID-19, Israel is now using counter-terrorism technology. Cell phones of quarantined citizens and virus carriers can be tracked by Israel's domestic intelligence agency. The public understands and the public realizes that it is for their own national health services and for their own safety. If an individual is walking around in Jerusalem and he's fled the isolation, we have to find him as quick as possible. A video showing a man being detained by special forces. He allegedly fled quarantine. The police is also tasked to break up gatherings of more than 10 people, which are now banned. At police headquarters in Jerusalem, operations are closely monitored. The tracking technology can also be used to identify those who were unknowingly in contact with a person carrying the virus. Anyone who has had close contact with a COVID-19 case will be notified by a text message to go into isolation. Acting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced the measures this week. We will authorize the use of digital tools for a limited period of time of 30 days. Israel is a democracy and we must maintain the balance between civil rights and the public's needs. The move has caused a debate in Israel over privacy and potential lack of oversight. The measures were approved by a caretaker government and parliament had no say in the matter. Tech experts say Israel is walking a fine line. As long as it is within the law and the data is being protected, then I think it's overall it's a good thing that's being done. Uh, we're not the first to do it. Uh, Taiwan, China and other locations of the world are doing similar things. I think we're just taking it maybe a step up in terms of uh, trying to reduce pot potential contagion. Tel Aviv under a partial lockdown. Tens of thousands across the country are in quarantine. The rest of the population has now been asked to stay home. This is aiming our uh, basic privacy. That's the problem. I guess it's not a problem for fighting the corona, the virus, but it's an excuse to keep using it on different stuff. I think if they're using it for the right purpose and not afterwards taking it further away and it's only for corona, I think it's a wise thing to do because that's the way everything spreads. In the meantime, Israel's High Court has given the government until Tuesday to establish parliamentary oversight of the surveillance program.